that is one of my favorite stories. It's the Big Orange Splot, and it's by Daniel Manis Pinkwater. That's quite an interesting name, Pinkwater. Look at this Big Orange Splot. It's pretty cool. Mr. Plumbing lived on a street where all the houses were the same. He liked it that way. So did everybody else on Mr. Plumbing Street. This is a neat street, they would say. Then one day, a seagull flew over Mr. Plumbing's house. He was carrying a can of bright orange paint. No one knows why. And he dropped the can, no one knows why, right over Mr. Plumbing's house. It made a big orange splot on Mr. Plumbing's house. Oh, too bad, everybody said. Mr. Plumbing will have to paint his house again. I suppose I will, said Mr. Plumbing, but he didn't paint his house right away. He looked at the big orange splot for a long time. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. What do you think Mr. Plumbeam is thinking? Come off mute if you wanna share. What do you think he's thinking about when he looks at that big orange splat? Okay, you guys can unmute yourselves now. Oh, I can't. No, no. What do you think he's thinking about? He's going, no, hmm. Let me no, look at, at the slide. No, he's looking at the, the um, stage. Yeah, he's Thank looking you. at this big yeah. orange splat. What is he thinking? What's he thinking about? Um, cleaning it up? Yeah. Let's see. He, he said, yeah. 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 I heard a king was sort of playing with the idea that maybe he's thinking about cleaning it up. Do you agree with that king or do you think something different? You have, you have a haircut? Yeah. I agree. You agree with him? Let's find out what Mr. Plumbeam is thinking. The neighbors got tired of seeing that big orange. Oh, oh, oh. Someone said, Mr. Plumbeam, we wish you'd get around to your house. Okay, said Mr. Plumbeam. I'm not going to show you this one. I just want you to listen. He got some blue paint and some white paint. And that night he got busy. He painted at night because it was no. when the paint you're like no. When the paint was gone, the roof was blue. Look at that. He's painting the roof blue. The roof was blue. The walls were white. The big orange splat was still there got some more paint, red paint, yellow paint, green paint, and purple paint. That's a lot of paint for all that. In the morning, the other people on the street came out of their houses. Their houses were all the same. But Mr. Plumbeam's house was like a rainbow. It was a jungle. It was like an explosion. <laughs> house. Raise your hand if you think you would like to live in a house that looked like that. <laughs> there was the big orange splat. There were little orange splats. There were stripes. There were pictures of elephants <laughs> and lions and pretty girls and steam shovels. The people said, Plum Bean has popped his cork flipped his wig, blown his stack, and dropped his stopper. They, were, they all went away saying, he's so crazy. <laughs> that day, Mr. Plumbean bought carpenter's tools. That night, he put the tower on top of his roof, and he painted a clock on the tower. Can you turn it in? Look at his house now. 
If you were Mr. Plumbeam, would you add anything else to your house? And if so, what would you add? He's already got elephants and a lion and a clock tower. What else do you think Mr. Plumbeam should add to this house? You can unmute. What do you think he should add? Layla, what do you think? Layla, what do you want to add to the house? Uh, Selena or Tanika, what do you think we should add to the house, Tanika and Selena? A tree. A tree? That would be a good thing to add. Anything else you think he needs to add to his house? What are you thinking? I think he should add... Okay, now I forgot what I was going to say. It's okay. That happens to the best of us. Let's find out what people are going to say about this clock tower. The next day, the people said, Plumbeam has gushed his mush, lost his marbles, and slipped his hawser. He's so crazy. Let me hear you say that. Come off mute and let me hear you say that. Like neighbors. He's so crazy. <laughs> they decided they would pretend not to notice. We're just not going to notice him. Whatever, Mr. Plumby. We're not thinking about your house. Every night, Mr. Plumby got a truck full of green things. Somebody said a tree. Selena said he needed a tree. He planted palm trees, baobabs, thorn bushes, onions, and French pennies. In the morning, he bought a hammock and alligator. Exactly. That's the right face, Selena. Such surprise. What if your neighbor bought an alligator? <laughs> when the other people came out of their houses, they saw Mr. Plumbeam swinging in a hammock between two palm trees. They saw Mr. Plumbeam sipping, sipping the with an alligator lying in the grass. Plumbeam has gone too far. This used to be a neat street. Plumbeam, what have you done to your house? The people shouted. Hey, my house is me, and I am it. My house is where I like to be. It looks like all my dreams, Mr. Plumbeam said. The people went away. They asked the man to live next door to Mr. Plumbeam to go and have a talk with him. Tell him that we liked it here before he changed his house. Tell him that his house has to be the same as ours so we can have a neat street. Mr. Plumbeam is chilling. The alligator is chilling. Mr. Plumbeam's got his lemonade and his hammock. He's not bothering anybody. I wonder why they keep bothering Mr. Plumbeam. Hmm. The man went to see Mr. Plumbeam that evening. They sat under the drinking lemonade and talking all night long. What do you think they're talking about? And parents, feel free to join in. What do you think Mr. Plumbeam and this neighbor are talking about? What do you think he's talking about, Tanika? His house. His house. So do you think Mr. Plumbeam is telling the neighbor about his house or do you think the neighbor is asking Mr. Plumbeam to fix his house? What do you think they're saying? I think they're telling him to fix his house. Maybe that neighbor might be saying, can you please fix your house? This used to be a neat street. Does anybody have an idea? What do you think he might be saying? What are they talking about while they're sipping lemonade? by those palm trees. The alligator, he is passed out sleeping. <laughs> You're not talking about the alligator. <laughs> you know, I have a dog. My dog sleeps like that sometimes. <laughs> he does. So what do you think they're talking about? Tanika thinks that the neighbor is telling Mr. Plumbeam or asking Mr. Plumbeam to please fix his house. Do you have a different idea? What else might they be talking about? Who's got a different idea? The animals. 
I hear somebody saying they might be talking about animals. That makes sense. He's got elephants on his house and a lion on his house, and he's got an alligator. So clearly, Mr. Plumbean likes animals. That's a good guess. What else do you think they might be talking about? Layla, we can't hear you. You can unmute yourself, Layla. I think she's trying to talk to you, but. Oh, Layla, are you trying to say something? Go ahead and unmute yourself so you can answer. Oh, Akeem, do you, you want to unmute yourself? Yeah. What do you think they're talking about? What do you think is going on, Akeem? Why, what are they going to talk about, Akeem? I'm, I'm sorry, he had to use the bathroom. That's okay, it's no problem. Oh, wow. That's okay. Yeah. So, Mr. Plumbeam and his neighbor are talking because everybody told this neighbor, you have to go talk to Mr. Plumbeam and tell him that his house has to be the same as ours. What? Do you think that's what they're talking about or are they talking about something different? Um, uh, oh, I think it's grapes. You think they're talking about grapes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They might be. They might be talking about what they like to eat. That's what I like to talk about with my friends. Let's find out what they're talking about. Oh, they're great. They were talking. They were talking all night long. So we got some good ideas. We heard that they might be saying, fix your house, Mr. Plumbeam. We heard that they might be talking about animals. And we heard that maybe about grapes. What? Let's find That's out. Not you are not going to believe this. Are you ready? Yep. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. I don't know if you're ready. You're not ready. Let me see if you're ready. You're not going to believe it. You won't believe what they were talking about. You sure you're ready? Let me peek and see if you, I don't know if you're ready for this. Listen, early the next morning, the man, the neighbor, you know that neighbor guy was telling Mr. Plumbeam, go fix your house. Early the next morning, the man went out to get lumber and rope and nails and paint. When the people came out of their houses, they saw a red and yellow ship next to the house of Mr. Plumbee. Look at that house. Look at what the neighbor did to his house. Can you believe it? He broke it. Did he break it or did he fix it? What did he do? Fix it. He definitely changed it. I wonder why he did that. Let's find out. What have you done to your house? They shouted at the man. Uh, Guess what he says. Yo, my house is me. And I admit, my house is where I like to be. And it looks like all my dreams, said the man who had always loved ships. He's just like plumbing, the people said. He's got bees in his bonnet, bats in his belfry, and in his noodle. He's so not in his noodles again. He's so crazy. Then one by one, they went to see Mr. Plumbeam at night. They would sit under the palm trees and drink lemonade and talk about their dreams. What's that? Listen to what's going to happen with these neighbors. One by one, they go to see Mr. Plumbeam. They would sit under the palm trees and drink lemonade and talk about their dreams. And whenever anybody visited Mr. Plumbeam's house, the very next day, that person would set about changing his own house to fit his dreams. You guys want to see these dream houses? Okay. Check it out. Huh? Are you ready? Yeah. Here's the next one. Dun, dun. Wow. Wow. Yes. Here's the next one. Wow. Wow. Here's the next one. Wow, that is so cool. Let's see. Oh my goodness, are you ready? Here's another one. What is that? It's a castle. A castle. A castle. Yeah. I wonder if yeah. there are alligators in this movie. On the castle. I would definitely one. not like that. Yeah, yeah. 
Ooh, what does that look like, guys? Do you know what that looks like? Ice. That looks like a Greek or Roman temple. Yes. A temple, temple. So here we go, guys. Let's finish it up. Whenever a stranger came to the house of Mr. Plumbing and his neighbors, the stranger would say, this is not a neat street. Then all the people would say, our street is us and we are it. Our street is where we like to be. And it looks like all our dreams. Look at that. That's the end. That is the end. Can you give her a round of applause? Yeah. It's one of my favorites because it makes me wonder what would your house look like if your house, all your dreams, what would your house look like if it looked like all your dreams? I'm going to type that question in chat. Thank you. I'm going to type it in chat because I just want you to think for a minute. Do me a favor, go on mute for me and just think for just a minute because this is a big, big, big question. What would your house look like if it looked like all your... That's the question. Don't answer yet because the first thing you have to think about is, well... What are my dreams? What do I love? What do I want to do? What's important? Then you can think about what your house might look like. So let me tell you while you're thinking. Hmm. I wish we had some thinking music. Bum, 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 Thinking, thinking, thinking. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. What would my house look like if it looked like my dreams hmm well well you know I love a lot of things but I love 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 that makes me all the time flowers put that back and get one of and butterflies and the sky and water so I would need a house that would let me see those things so I think I need a house that has Big, um, like skylights so that I could see the sky and lots of windows, but then the outside would have to be covered with growing things so the butterflies and hummingbirds would come on the nectar and feed on the flowers. And I would need some sort of ponds around my house and waterfalls. And, oh, guess what else? Music. I want a, a walkway to my door that plays music when people walk so they can dance all the way up to the door. And so I think that would be my dream house. So if you are ready to share, hmm, what do you think your dream house would look like if it looked like all your dreams? What would it look like? Raise your hand if you want to tell us. Help us. Oh, it's broke. I know. What would your house look like? What would your, and this is, wait a minute, this is not just for the kids. Mickey Mouse house. This is for the grown-ups too. I heard, a king. did you say a Mickey Mouse house? <laughs> yes, can you describe it for us? What would it look like? Um, would it be white? Oh, be white. Would Mickey Mouse all over it? Um, Mickey Mouse all over it? It would have Mickey Mouse all over it? Yes? That's pretty broke cool. It. I broke it. No, okay, you okay. broke it? So, Dad, I hear you I hear you in the background, Dad. What would your dream house look like if it could look like all your dreams? Oh, you. My dream Putting you house on the spot, me. Dad. Yeah, you I are. Mean, I am. I said this is not just for the kids. This is for the grown-ups, too. This is primetime family reading. Yes, it is. Hmm. No, um, you know, my dream house would be just a, a place where I could just relax. I would have a lot of a lot of book bookshelves. I would have a lot of books. 
I don't think I will have any TVs in my house. I could do that. Like that. I could do that. And I think I could I think do that. So help help us to paint a picture. I wish if we were walking up to your house or driving down your street, what would we see that would let us know that this was a house that showed your dreams? What would the house look like? Like Mr. Plumbeam's house had animals and stripes and um, steam shovels and pretty girls and the neighbor's house was like a boat because he loved boats. What would your house look like on the outside? Um, I love it. Oh, I have to be <laughs> uh, I don't think I would have any anything of significance to show that it's my house. Like, I don't think I you know, would want or anything special or particular. Okay. Uh, you would save all the special for the inside. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you for sharing. I saw Selena, you were raising your hand. Can you share with us? What would your house look like? How would we know that this was Selena's dream house? My house is yeah, yeah, yeah. a nature house. Mm -hmm. A garden, flowers. <laughs> Next are um, the butterflies. Mm -hmm. And um, that's where we want to go. Just mm -hmm. for the hummingbirds. It sounds like we should be neighbors, Selena. We would live on the same street, I think. Oh, oh I'm on you. I, 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 I love it. I, I have um, Selena's mom, did you want to share? Me and my mom like to plant seeds in, in our garden. Nice. Thank you so much for sharing. Is there anybody else who wants to share? Um, oh, oh, Biddy and Daddy. Yeah, Tanika, yeah, Tanika would. Go ahead, Tanika. What would your house look like? To look like a, a popsicle house. <laughs> Say more about that. I'm, I'm really interested in what a popsicle house would look like. Would it be, Tanika, would it be one of those popsicles that have two side-by-side -side popsicles? Or would, be, or would it be one that has all the colors? Can you tell us what kind of popsicle? All the colors? Like a rainbow popsicle? No! That is really cool. Can you tell me um, Ooh, I you would want to have, have a popsicle house? Yeah, I'm a popsicle. You love popsicles? That's yeah. a good reason to have a popsicle house. Let me ask you this. Would, um, would it melt in the sunshine? Yeah. Your house would melt in the sunshine? Or would you have to have that house in a cold place? Oh. Oh Miss Natalie is being silly. Right. It could just look like a popsicle, right? <laughs> it wouldn't right. have to be a popsicle. Mom, Thank do you, you want to share? What do you think your house would look like? I see you peeking. I, I just really want a walk-in closet. <laughs> okay, that's the, you know what? But that's the, so here's the thing. That's the grown-up answer. We're not, <laughs> we can't, you, you have to think about, so this is why I always say this is a big question, right? Because you really have to think about what is it that you love and how would your, what would your house look like if you were showing to the world who you are and what you love, right? That's really what it's about. And so I know, you know, mamas and, and papas and the grown-ups have the walk-in closet and the sunken tubs and the big kitchen and the self-cleaning house and all those things. But it's Can tough for us to think beyond that. that. So uh, think about what your house would look like if it shows your dream. I'm going to ask for a timeout for a minute. And I'm going to ask everybody to mute except for um, Tanika and her mom so we can hear them. So if everybody can mute except for Tanika and her mom so we can hear them. And then we'll come back and give other people to share. 
So mom, I'm gonna ask you again to tell me about this dream house that has this walk-in closet. What does it look like if it looks like dreams? I know my outside of my house will have butterflies on it because I love butterflies. Me too. So butterflies, um, so for me, like I want plants that are gonna attract real butterflies. Would you want real butterflies to come or would you want butterflies painted on your house? Real butterflies. Real butterflies, same. I think that you and Selena and I, we just could all live together in the same neighborhood. <laughs> we would be in the butterfly sub. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for sharing and being paid while I push you to share a little bit more. Um, is there anybody else who wants to share? What would your house look like? We've got popsicles and Mickey Mouse houses and subtle library houses because they're library houses on the inside, but not the outside. And we've got butterfly garden houses. Anybody else want to share? What would your house look like? Uh, Mr. Yeah, Tay, do you want to share anything? Well, I, I like your idea of the house with the garden. That's what I do with my house, too. Mm -hmm. I think the, the nicest house is the one that's paid off. That would be the... <laughs> that, that's what I'm... <laughs> That's the grown-up answer. Okay. That is the that is the grown-up answer. It's hard. It's hard. Whenever we do this story, it's hard for the adults to, to step to out visualize. Yeah. that adult world and what my, my dream house is clean and paid for. <laughs> um, it's hard sometimes to step outside of that, but I've had enough experience with this story to really give that question. Um, some some thought. This is the next question that I'm wondering. If you had to choose, because one of those live on Mr. Plumbing Street at the beginning of the story, or Mr. Plumbing Street at the end of the story, and why? Why would you choose the the place that you chose? So raise your hand if you want to share. I'm gonna put a question in chat. I, uh, I know that this is, not, um, this is not. Uh, I'm sorry, I had to change because I feel the same. I was outside all day. You're fine, you're fine. Uh, so my, I know this is you asking another question, but I was talking about the dream house. Like yep. anybody who really knows me knows that I love food. <laughs> that would be my dream house. Like that would really be my dream house. I would definitely have a chef, chefs from all over the world coming every day, like fixing me a different type of meal from a different, a different region. That's my like. That's literally my dream house. I would love that. <laughs> oh, help me. South. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, no, that's fine. One from the south. One from Japan. One from Vietnam. All over the world. Alaska, <laughs> Canada, anywhere. <laughs> just I just love different types of food. That's how I am. <laughs> so that would be my dream house. So, what would the outside of your house look like? If somebody were driving down the street and they would look at your house and be like, oh, this person must really love food. What would okay, of course, like I would have to say it wouldn't be true food because I know that stuff was rocking. <laughs> so it would be <laughs> I have to think like an adult on this one. I have to think like that because I want my food to rock. <laughs> so I would actually get somebody to kind of construct it to where I would have vegetables, like mm -hmm. pork. Like the uh, pillars, like vegetables, like maybe stocks of corn or carrots or celery. I mean, in my window will probably be little, uh, <laughs> little peas. Like, I don't know. And, um, probably the little walkway will have um, different types of fish, you know. <laughs> Just, you know, that's coming out of my, you know, my imagination of how I would want it to look. But yeah, definitely. That's, Thank that's you. Thank you for sharing. And I certainly don't mind you jumping in, even though we moved on. That That is the question that I love to ask um, when we read this story, because everybody's answers are just so interesting. So the last question um, before we get out of here is, would you rather live on Mr. Plumbean's house at the beginning of the story or at the end of the story? And why would you choose what you chose? Which... 
All right, you can raise your hand if you want to share the beginning of the story or the end of the story. Tanika, what are you thinking? You want to live in Mr. Plumbeam's house, Mr. Plumbeam Street at the beginning of the story when all the houses were the same or at the end of the story when all the houses look like this? You said at the beginning of the story? Yeah. Why would you like to live there at the beginning of the story? Because it looks better. You think it looks better? Okay. That's fair. That is fair. Anybody else want to share the beginning of the story or the end of the story? Selena? Selena? Uh -oh. I would like the end of the share? story. Why? Because at the end of the story, I liked the houses and they were um different. They were different, yeah. Not plain. Mm -hmm. And you know what I love is Tanika is okay. It's okay for her to have her idea and for her to be an individual. And it's okay for Selena to have her idea and for her to be an individual. And I think that that's, when we read this story, it's usually part of a series on being an individual, being yourself and choosing to um, express yourself in a way that is okay. And so I thank you guys for sharing your different opinions and your ideas about where you would wanna live and why. Um, I know we've been about 44 minutes or so in, maybe about four minutes in. Um, I'm going to turn it back over um, to Mr. Akhtar. Am I saying your name right? Yes, yes, that's perfect. Thank you so much. And this has been And we can amazing. see um, if we want to go a little bit more or if you want to. Thank yeah. you. If you guys have any questions or any other comments you want to make about the story. Absolutely. Um, Ms. Lotte, did you want to... Um, did you want to? Uh, did you want to say anything about the story, Miss Lute? Okay. I'm sorry. I thought I accidentally hit the mute button. That's okay. Uh, that's okay. I'm sorry. I just got into the meeting. I'm so sorry. Uh, that's okay. I that's okay, Miss Lute. All right. So what we'll do is, um, Miss Natalie, if you want to, we can. Uh, if you can. Uh, you're more than welcome to leave them. And then um, I think Ms. Lotte, we're just gonna do like a short story book or you can stay with us, um, whatever you would like. I'm good for the next 15 minutes. Okay. So I can right. hang out Perfect. if you don't mind. Perfect. Yeah, that'd And be then great. that way if you, yep, okay, cool. Okay, Ms. Lotte, do you wanna start reading the book to us? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you saw, so Ms. Natalie was really, it's, I've recorded it too. So what Ms. Natalie is doing is kind of teaching us like what are ways that we can um, engage the, you know, kind of make it lively and then also engage the students and thinking and the parents and thinking about it. So why don't you start reading your book um, for next 15 minutes and then see if we can incorporate some of that stuff into, yeah. So we're just trying to improve kind of how do we, how do we do this because it's, we're still kind of new at it, you know? Yeah. Okay. I'm very Thank you. Thanks, Ms. Lute. <laughs> Okay, so I have a book called Saturday. So okay, what do so you have uh, on the front of this book? Okay, yeah, you should, uh, hold on. Uh, okay, we see your book, yep, we see Saturday. Okay. Yep. I'm sorry, it looks like it's backwards, but this is Saturday. We got it. So, <clears throat> so Saturday is a part of the weekend, correct? So what's your mm -hmm. favorite Saturday. What do y'all do on Saturday? Can somebody answer? Selena, <laughs> do you want to answer? You want to answer what you do on Saturdays with mommy or daddy? Um, on Saturdays, I like to play with my dolls, and sometimes I get to draw pictures. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Well, my set. Well, my Saturday tomorrow I have Zoom classes, so 
I get to improve on how I can further myself in teaching you guys for school. So that's going to be really exciting. So I'm going to be learning a lot of things tomorrow. And I can't wait for everybody on Monday. Anybody else? Anika? What about you, King? What's your door on Saturday? Um, it is Schwartz TV. You wait, you watch? Wait, what did you say? You watch people? Uh, no, Miss uh, yeah. no, Tanika says she watches TV, but King, you're muted. We can't hear you. Oh, you yeah. Yeah, you need to hear. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I play too. Yeah. 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 I said yes. I said yes. Yeah. 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 I should be yes. Sorry, Mr. Tang, you want to start? Yeah. Yeah. Are I going to pop? Like, to the pop? Okay. All right. So I'm gonna just uh, start reading if that's okay with everybody. Yeah. So basically, we have oh, a. Oh no. <laughs> This is like the first part of the page, and they have a calendar. They have notes on the side. I think this is really creative. I, don't know. I mean, I'm sorry. I know who the author is, but this is like, I know this took a lot of time to do, and this is really creative to me. It's like almost like a, it's like a daily plan. It's really amazing. So I'm going to turn to the first page. I can just turn this okay, here we go. Can y'all see? Everybody see it a little better? Okay. All right. So it's called Saturday. All right. So what do y'all see on this first page? All right. Well, I see a mommy and her daughter. They're having breakfast this morning. What kind of drink do you think your mo the mother is drinking that it has steam coming out? What do you, what do you mean, Selena? Go, Selena. Coffee. Good job. Anybody else? I think she might be drinking tea to wake herself up in the morning. I know a lot of people drink tea in the morning. I, I'm a, a, a coffee drinker myself. Like, I love coffee. I even drink coffee at night. <laughs> so, <laughs> it doesn't perk me up, but I just like the taste of it. <laughs> All right, so it says, this morning, this morning, Eva and her mother were all smiles. It was Saturday because Eva's mother worked Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Saturday was the day they cherished. Do we have any parents that work Monday through Sunday? <laughs> yeah, I see Miss Natalia uh, <laughs> shaking her head like, yeah. Yeah, I know the feeling because I definitely work Monday. Well, Monday through Friday, I actually get my weekends. Thank <laughs> All right, we'll turn the page. It says, on Saturday, they zip to the library for weekly story time. On Saturdays, they lounge in saloon, I'm sorry, salon chairs and got new hairdos. Oh, wow. So this is like a girl's day out. And it also says, on Saturdays, they picnicked in the grass for a peaceful afternoon at the park. And on this Saturday, they would also ride the bus across town for a night, a, uh, I'm sorry, a one night only puppet show. What do you think, what do y'all uh, think they're going to see? Do y'all see that? Do you guys know what a puppet is? Have you guys seen a puppet? A little thing that you got to put on your hand? Yeah, Selena? I, I actually have not. I've never seen a puppet. I have anymore. a puppet. <laughs> not the you, one with the string attached. You have a puppet? Okay. You have to. Okay. <laughs> All right. I have a puppet, and you. I have um, the kind of puppet. You put your hand in it, and then it, you can control mm -hmm. it with um. With your hand. 
with my hand. Yeah, I'm used. To, I, I I see those puppets a lot. I would like to uh, see the one on the string in real life. Like I've never seen one of those like ever. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn the page. Look, it looks like they're gonna be seeing the flamingo puppet show. What can y'all tell me about flamingos? Maybe they've never seen a flamingo before, so we can we can oh, show them in the book where the flamingo is. Right. Yeah. Would, that would what be great. Let me turn the page. It says, the day would be special. The day would be splendid. The day was Saturday. Ava and her mother could hardly wait. So she was really excited to spend the day with her mother. All right. So Zoom! Off they went. That's a fast bus. <laughs> All right. Okay, story time was canceled. Oh, no, Eva cried. It's canceled? Well, Ava's mother. Wow. So on this uh, Saturday, oh, their story time was canceled. Does anybody, has anybody ever made plans that they feel like they got, you know, canceled? How do you guys feel when your plans get canceled? When uh, mom say, oh, we're going to go to the park or we're going to go to the amusement park or we're going to go swimming or we're going to go to the beach and something happens like, oh, it rain, it's raining or we can't go, something came up, you know, I would be upset. Tanika, did you have your hand up? Yeah. Sorry, okay. I couldn't see I'm sorry. Go ahead, Tanika. One time we were we got canceled for the pool. Yeah. Oh. oh. How did you feel? Sad. Did you feel yeah. sweat? You said for the pool? For school. Yeah. Oh, oh, for pool. School. oh, pool. Oh, pool. Okay. No, for the pool. Pool. Okay, I thought, yeah. We also, also feel sad when the school is closed, too, right? Yes, yes, we do. Yeah. And also, what I well, actually, that happened to us one time. So, what we did was we used the bathtub <laughs> as a pool, <laughs> and we played around in that. <laughs> That's nice, just for the fun of it. Well, mm -hmm. it was just for the kids. I mean, the adults couldn't do it, but oh, we got the like the holes, and we just you know, spread the kids had a little fun, just so they wouldn't be upset. Yeah. All right. It says they paused, closed their eyes, and whew, let out a deep breath. Don't worry, Eva. Her mother reassured her. Today will be special. So they will be splendid. Today is Saturday. So her mother is reassuring her that everything's going to be okay. It's still Saturday. We still have time to have, we have other things to do. So zoom, off they went. But as they left the salon, what do y'all think, what do y'all think is going to happen as they left the salon? Huh? I mean, they got these new hairstyles. These new hairdos that just got done and paid for. Uh, what do you think is going to happen, Tanika? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Well, I think they're going to get um, a bunch of cats running on them and trying to lick their <laughs> lick their faces and stuff messing up their hair. <laughs> That's what I think. What about you, Selena? What do you think is going to happen? Because they said just, but just as they left the salon, so they just got their hair done. I just said I think a bunch of cats are gonna come and lick lick all over their hair, <laughs> so it's gonna mess it up. So what do you think? I think um, they're gonna have a picnic. All right, we're gonna see. Ooh, whoosh! Oh wow. Their hairdos were ruined. Oh no, Ava sobbed. Our dudes, boo-hoo, <laughs> Ava's mother. <laughs> so 
So that's worse than the cats. <laughs> they got splashed by water and a car coming by just as they walked outside. I've had that happen to me. So I, I kind of understand where they're coming from. <laughs> I've had that happen to me before. I was actually walking and a car came by and all over my clothes and everything. So yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> but I made doing it. I passed it. They paused, closed their eyes, and let out a deep breath. Don't worry, Eva. Her mother reassured her. Today will be special. Today will be splendid. Today is Saturday. So zoom! Off they went. But the peaceful afternoon at the park Oh, wow, that's a lot. The park is kind of full today. What do y'all see in this picture? What do you see, Tanika? I see somebody doing yoga and art. Yeah. Selena, what do you see? I see a party. The whole entire picture. Yeah, yeah it is a big party. <laughs> I see somebody playing the guitar and a lady singing. I see somebody reading a book. The park was loud. Oh no, Ava groaned. What did you say? It's too noisy, yelled her mother. So Ava's mother couldn't even hear her over the noise that was going on. They paused, closed their eyes, and let out a deep breath. Don't worry, Ava, her mother reassured her. Today will be special. Today will be splendid. Today will be ruined if we miss that bus. <laughs> so, zoom. To the extra special one night only puppet show they went. They have one thing to do. We'll see. Let's, I hope they don't have their uh, show canceled. I really... Hope they didn't. They don't. Yay! We made it, Eva ex exclaimed as they arrived at the theater. Thank goodness, Eva's mom signed in relief. Hooray for Saturday! They cheered. Tickets chirped the lady at the door. Eva's mother mother reached into her purse, but the tickets weren't there. Oh, no, Ava's mother guessed. I left her tickets on the table. As Ava watched her mother, her mother crumble, I've had it, she signed. Story time was canceled. Our hair was ruined. The park was loud. And now we're missing the puppet show. I'm sorry, Ava. We look forward to all this. We look forward to this all week. And I've messed up everything. I've ruined Saturday. Eva was quiet for a moment. Then she closed her eyes and let out a deep breath. Don't worry, me, Ava reassured her. Today was special. Today was splendid. Today, I'm sorry, Saturdays are wonderful because I spend them with you. So slowly, hand in hand, hand in hand, off they went. When they reached their apartment door, Ava turned to her mother. She had no idea. What if we, Ava started. You know we could, her mother began. So they did. So what do you think they were all trying to say by looking at this picture? Go ahead, Selena. Making puppets. Good job. They did their own puppet show. So this Saturday wasn't completely ruined. Even though they had some setbacks, they still managed a way to still enjoy this Saturday. And I really like that. What a wonderful day. And that is the end of the story. All right. Thank you, Ms. Latay. I appreciate it. Hey, oh, no problem at all. Anything, you have a question?
Yeah, I have a book. Huh? I have a book to share. Oh, okay. Okay. There you book. Can you show us your book? Can you re can you see the title for us? It says, "What is for supper?" Okay, say that again, Tanika. I said, "What is for supper?" What is for supper? Okay, that looks awesome. It says, I like pasta. I like pizza. I like tacos. I like grilled cheese. I like to eat. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you for reading that book to us. That's awesome. I like that. That's beautiful. Like <laughs> okay. All right. Well, it was great seeing you. Let's thank Miss Natalie. Let's thank Miss uh, Latte. Let's thank uh, everybody that joined us today. I know Farah was here and um, Miss Onika joined us. Uh, Miss Layla joined us. So many people joined us. So we were so awesome. It was awesome. We really had a great time. It was an honor to have them. And we're going to see Miss Natalie and all of you back next week, which is going to be the last week of our reading club. And then we'll do our, um, and you can pick up some extra books uh, next week also. All right. Ooh, yay. yay. Some more books. All right. So you can read over the summer together. Okay. So thank you, Miss Natalie. Thank you, guys. We love you all. This was so much fun. I'm so glad I got to join you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Natalie. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Love you all.